Mission failed. Fugitive investigator, open the door now. When a fugitive skips court and goes on the run, the bail bonds company is on the hook for the money. <laughs> Bondsmen like Jeff Stanley create competitions to motivate bounty hunters to find these people and recover their cash. Put your hands up. Break it. Three bounty hunter teams compete this week for a bonus of 10 grand, and they've only got five days to do it. Adrian's team is unpredictable. Damn, where's he at? We're so diverse, we can go anywhere at any time. We cool. Art's team is all family. Put your hands up now, get on your knees. I can kick ass, my son, he can kick ass, but that's about using your mind. You gotta be smart. Chris's team is ex-military. Let me see your hands. We can demoralize the other team to the point where they go, we give up. You guys are just too good. This is Bounty Wars. The teams gather at Bad Boys Bail Bonds in Los Angeles. There, they will choose the fugitives they will go after for the week. Each one of these cases contains information on an individual that has skipped bail. If we do not find these skips, I'm out a lot of money. All right, Chris, your team's first to pick. 27-105, forgery and counterfeiting. 33-628. Big one. So to motivate my teams, I created a competition. They have five days to pick up as many skips as they can. The team that comes back with the highest bounty total wins the $10,000 bonus. Conceal weapons, be careful. Jeff's challenge is all about bringing back the most money, not the most number of bodies. 13,826. Possession of a controlled substance, robbery. A higher bail amount often means a more severe crime and a more difficult fugitive to capture. Good luck and be safe. You have five days, and that starts now. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's roll. Bounty hunters get their authority from the federal courts and state law. They can break and enter your home. Extradition doesn't pertain to them. Miranda doesn't pertain to them. The way that the court likens it to is that the bounty hunter is a warden and that the defendants are escaped prisoners. That's why bounty hunters have more authority than police officers when it comes to arresting these defendants. We're on a mission from God. God would not be on a mission with us, trust me. No. He does not like me. The strategy for the week is we're going to try to dump as many bodies as possible. With that, we're hoping we can win the competition. Frank and I are both former United States Marines, and uh, so we think a lot alike. Wayne uh, worked at the correctional facility for 15 years. The reason that I joined the Marines was that I had gotten a little bit of trouble here in town. The judge at the time gave me an option to join the Marine Corps or suffer the other consequences. It was the best thing for me. Chris's team targets Rolando, who received a $26,000 bail when he was arrested for identity theft. They arrive at the Van Nuys apartment complex listed in Rolando's file. Manager's here. Got a key. I got rolling on a fugitive status out of LA County for warrants. We have authority to enter the property. You want to go in? Yeah, can we? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Keep an eye, keep an eye on that place. The apartment manager confirmed that they live there. He thinks he might actually still be there. So we're going to take my little brother right here. We're going to go bust the door in. Let's see about getting this guy out of the freaking manager's head. And get him into custody. Because Rolando skipped court, federal law gives the team the right to enter his residence. Okay, She's going. Thank you. Thank you. I'm right behind you. Chasing bad guys. Okay. Be uh, careful. I will. I love you so much. Bye, guys. Bye, beautiful. Oh, she sounds so cute. It's the love of my life right there, baby. How old is she? Eleven. Such a tiny little voice. Yeah, she's a killer, though. Across town, Art and his team are heading to Venice Beach toward their first target. Art's son, J.D., follows in the chase car. This is a $5,000 case that we're going after, and he's charged for breaking and entering. We're going to go pick up this guy because it's a fresh case. That means he won't be expecting us to show up. My overall strategy really is to hit him when they're uh, least expecting us to be there. I've been a uh, bounty hunter for about 20-plus uh, years. I've got Monica, who's more of the, uh, you know, 
pretty feminine, kind of can go in the, any situation that I needed to. And then I got JD, who's the big monster. Things about JD, my son, he wants to kick in every door, break every window. In time, as he gets older, he'll learn that uh, there's a balance to everything. We're looking for a black X3 BMW. This guy kind of has a nice car. You got a plate number on that uh, BMW? No, I don't see a plate number. It says black BMW. It's going to be hard to do any type of surveillance around here without being seen. There's, it's going to be damn near impossible. Art decides to stake out James's apartment, hoping to catch him when he returns home. But it could take hours, and every minute of surveillance means critical time lost. 19 miles away in Van Nuys, Chris and his team suspect that their skip, Rolando, is hiding inside his apartment, so they've armed up and are ready to break in the door. You ready? I'm ready. Investigation, bail! Closet on your left, clear. Clear room, clear. Flashlight up front. Closet in front. Another door in another room. Investigators, get on the ground. Lock. Stand by. Clear. Clear. It's all these jackets and shoes, man. You jealous? Yeah. Just any uh, family photos? A lot of people live in here. They're about to give up the search when the apartment manager has a suspicion that the neighbor might be hiding Rolando. Boys, next house over. What about it? Might be in here. He's here? Of course. Chris. Yeah. Roland, come here. Come here. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Okay, thank you. Walk, walk with me. Nice and slow. Nice and easy, all right? Roland, you're under arrest for failure to appear in Superior Court. You knew we were here. You could have come out, could have taken care of it. But once again, you ran, just like you like to run. Who are you? Okay, come here. I'll take first. The only reason I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this is because you got yourself in a really bad place. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Okay, do you know what harboring a fugitive is? Yes, I know. Do you know, understand it's a felony in the United States. Yeah. Okay, which means you'd go to jail. But sir. Go, I'm just listen to me. Just listen to me. Yeah. If you're gonna lie to me and my investigators, I get pissed off. Do you understand that? Have a good day. Thank you. What's in here? Your cigarettes? You like to smoke? Yeah. Before we go, we're gonna have a nice smoke together. Does that sound good? Thanks, yeah. bro. Gloves? What's this? That's for... I found it on the track. Oh, man, that's nasty, dude. Are you serious? What the is it? It's a extender, dude. You're gonna have a cigarette? No, sir. No, sir. no, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna pat you down. No, sir. No, sir. I'm gonna finish patting you down, Dan. Is there anything else in there? Who's got no, gloves? Nothing, nothing. Who's got gloves? I got gloves in the pocket. Go get them. Why would you find something like that and put it in your pocket? I, 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 you know what, dude? You gotta tell me that you got a friggin' penis extender in your friggin' pocket before no, I stick my I hand mean, in it. I, I, in, in 10 years of doing this, I've never had that happen to me totally ever, right. dude. And that's the first Just time look I forward, bro. Just look forward, man, please. You want to take over and do this? Can you believe that, dude? What's the big deal? What's going on? I pulled this phallus out of his pocket that you put on the tip of your penis to extend yourself if you've got a small one. And it's wrapped up in a baggie and it's moist, man. Do you have anything else on you that's going to make me feel uncomfortable? No, sir. You really got my friend Frank Ronald there. Jeff, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Just to let you know, we have uh, our guy in custody over here, Rolando. Great. You're the first call for the day. Well, we, we won't be the last either, trust me, because you'll be hearing from me again soon. With a $26,000 capture, Chris is the first team on the board. <laughs> Adrian and his team are on their way to their first case. They had spent the last several hours researching and devising a plan for the week. Our strategy that we came up with our team is to go after the highest dollar amount in, in the skips because since it's not about a body count, it's about the money count. We get one and it's 65,000. Everyone else got four or five and they equal 50 grand. We still win. Right here, this is my aunt's house. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna say a prayer. Keep us safe. Okay. Right before we make an entry anywhere, and we're going to somewhere where we feel is real dangerous. I bring my team out. We get a blessing from my aunt. Who's really religious. Get a prayer and keep the whole team safe and come home alive.
Lord, we ask you that you send your angels to guard these guys on their on their job. Amen. 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 Thank you. Good luck. All right now, all right. All right, Auntie. We'll see you later. Okay. Of course you will. I've been bounty hunting now for about nine years. Started about eight, eight, ten different times. One time wounded. So uh, it's real important for me to pray and for my team. Adrian's first case is Miguel, a skip charge with meth possession and worth fifty thousand dollars. A higher bounty usually means a more dangerous crime. Our target lives in apartment number 320A of this complex. This is a massive building with lots of hallways, lots of floors. We're going to break up into two groups and see if we could locate the apartment number. That's the highest that goes up to 318. What is the 320A over there? Mm -hmm. Is there a 320B here? No. What is there a 320? Yeah, it should be over there. Well, that says 320 right there. What's this 20? Oh, it may be on the other side. No, it's here. No? That's it. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Damn, where's he at? Adrian and his team are in Santa Ana, 30 miles south of L.A. They've had no luck finding the apartment of their $50,000 target who's wanted for meth possession. They've been knocking on doors, asking neighbors to help them locate the residence. Well, that's this 320 right there. What's this 20? Or it may be on the other side. No, yeah. That's it. Go, go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Damn, yeah. where's he at? Over here. Where's the car? Was that him? The one that way? Damn! I didn't even see where they went. I did. I was right behind him. And I saw you cross the street here. Yeah. He went that way. They split up. I'm going to get some running shoes this week. Adrian's team collects 5% of the bail value for each capture. So losing a $50,000 bounty is not just a setback to their standing in the competition. It's also a $2,500 blow to their wallets. We lost money. I mean. Dollar signs is running down the streets. I went, he went one way, I went the other way. Certain that their skip knows the team is after him, Adrian decides to drop the case for the week. 46 miles north in Venice Beach, Art and his team are still waiting for their $5,000 skip, James, to come home. According to their file, he's wanted for breaking and entering and drives a black SUV. Hey, what do you think? Stand by for right now. Oh, this really sucks. I'm so boring. The hardest thing about working cases, especially like this, is uh, time. Nobody wants to sit in a car and wait and stare at every car that comes by. All right, come on. Me and Art, my dad, we disagree on how we should do things. I wanted to hit the house about 30 minutes ago, not sit here on surveillance. Oh, there he is. That's right there, right there. Put your hands up. Come here. Put your hands up now. Get on your knees. You know why we're here? No. You missed your court date. I got a $5,000 warrant for your arrest in the car. What's your My son is impatient. You know, he's young, he's aggressive. You know, if we would have hit that door, we probably would have lost that guy and uh, never found him. Right now, I'm just thinking about the other guys. In the next few days, will be the true teller of uh, who's going to kick ass for this week. With their first capture in custody, Art's team has banked $5,000 and is in second place. 
The next day, day two of the competition, Adrian and his team are in Long Beach working a new case about to canvas the neighborhood. Didn't he own a black ultimate? Whoa. Adrian's wife calls, very upset. Well, is, he, is he waiting at the school for me? I know. I'm gonna go right now. His wife is busy with their newborn, and yeah. he's forgotten to pick up their other son at school. I gotta go. We know, we know, we know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's important. I'm a single mom. I have a five-year-old daughter at home. What's happening to him has happened to me plenty of times. This job is impossible to do and to have a family. You know, everyone asks me, how do I do it? You know, I, I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know how I do it. I'm here uh, to pick up my son, Nathan. What's up? I love you. I love you too, and you really need to wear something that protects your nervous system. I know this protects all your vital organs, but what about this area? People think being a bounty hunter is a tough job. Being married is tougher. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> being married to him is even tougher. <laughs> Take a look at this first one. Chris and his team brief on a young skip named Alex. Court papers say that his charges are forgery and counterfeiting. His bail is valued at $20,000. It looks like he hasn't really been in any trouble. So chances are with this kid, he's going to be home or close to the house, one of the two. The team heads off to Alex's home address listed in his file, when suddenly, team leader Chris gets an unexpected call from his fiance. Hey, honey. Wow, why You're stupid. You feel neglected. Who are you today? Well, well, right now, nobody. Oh, that sucks. It sucks? Yeah, it sucks big donkey Well, then I will call you later on this evening. I love you. Bye. No, just kidding. I'm not that emotional. This is fun. I miss, I miss being at home, but I love being out here. It's, an, it's, it's a lot of fun. The team arrives at their target Alex's home. Have one of you guys stay out front. Yeah. Frank out front. Hey Frank, this man is a kid's dad. He's inside and he's gonna surrender him. Just keep an eye on the front. I already got. I already got eyes on him. He's uh, he's not coming out. He's, yeah. We'll make this a nice peaceful uh, walk him down. And we'll uh, get him outside so we don't have to embarrass him, him or his family. So we'll all just walk him outside. All right, hurry up. We're just going to walk out front. Promise me you're not going to chase you because I'm fat and I'm old and I'm not going to run, OK? All right. All right. I'm on your six, Chris. Got it. We should be good to go. I got four kids at home, you know? Um, and I got one that's also 18. So I could imagine, I couldn't imagine a bunch of bounty hunters showing up to the house. I um, mean, I feel for the kid. I hope he, he gets his stuff together. So how old are you, Alex? 20. What's your drug of choice? Heroin. Heroin. How long you been using? Um, this round about seven months. That's that's a hard monkey to get off your back, yeah? So tough. No, I wouldn't do a lot of things I'm doing. It's just this drugs. Yeah. Look like, at this is a blessing, honestly. Like that's the, the times that I've gotten clean have been I sad to say when I've been getting arrested. I don't mind going in and serving my time, but when I'm going through the withdrawals in jail. That's what makes it worse. Let me, let me explain something to you. If you're going to kick, they're going to be able to take care of you. But it's up to you. You're a young man. You've got a lot to live for. You, absolutely. Are you kidding me? It's been 24 hours since the teams left the office, and Jeff Stanley calls them each with an update. Hey, Jeff. I'm calling to tell you. It's been 24 hours since we've started. Chris? You guys are currently in first place. Yeah! Yeah! Art, you guys are in second place. I need you to pick it up. There's no other place after first, right? Everything else is last after first. <laughs> Adrian, you guys are currently in third place. Listen, you guys gotta turn this around. This all can change tonight. Be safe out there. Good luck. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, bye bye. Well, the call pisses me off. I'm now in second place, so I was getting tired there for a minute, but now I'm kind of pumped, I'm pumped up, so I need to go catch somebody. 19 miles east in Pasadena, Art's team has been working all morning on a new case, an alleged drug dealer named Salvador with a $20,000 bond. Try not to uh, make contact yet. Just see if you see that damn suburban. I'm 
driving around the neighborhood, I don't see any Suburban right now. After speaking with informants, the team learned that Salvador drives a black Suburban. JD canvasses the area looking for the vehicle. Hey, I got a black Suburban here. Yeah, I think that's it. At this point, I'm just going to try to uh, see what we see, see what comes out, see who comes out, see who doesn't come out. It's a different guy. So I guess we'll just continue doing surveillance and hopefully we'll see somebody come out. Hey, the Black Suburban's leaving, OK? We're... The team sees someone leave the building and get into the car. It looks like a male driver. Can you see him? Yeah, I can see him. Maybe you light him up a little bit away and uh, see what kind of ID he gives you, see who he is. Art wants JD to follow the vehicle and then use his police lights to stop the driver and question him. But then, the team loses sight of the car. Who's gone? gone? Hey, JD. Light up those police lights and pull that person over now. <laughs> JD! <laughs> it goes, it goes straight. It's day two of the competition, and Art and his team are in Pasadena trying to amass a high enough bounty total to win the week's $10,000 bonus. It looks like a male driver. Can you see him? Yeah, I can see him. Do you want me to go or no? Maybe you light him up a little bit away. The team is chasing a suspected drug dealer named Salvador worth $20,000. They found the black Suburban that he allegedly drives. Oh, Who's gone? Some lights are coming over, JD. Hey, JD. Where'd you go? JD. The, it goes. It goes straight. Ah. It keeps going straight to miss call. It won't let you call me. I wanted you to get lighted up and get go behind the guy. Hey, you know that's why you got the lights on that car, right? So you can run stop yeah, signs. I ran. I ran well, he's through gone. every stop. Just wasted up five hours of surveillance. That wasn't him. No, I know. I want to know who the in the car belong to. I know that. Now we're doing nothing. You're just f***ing up. You know, I'm not going to run red lights and risk getting in a car accident for someone that's not even our guy. And my son's afraid to use the f***ing lights in the car. You don't have a whole lot of time to make mistakes. Just two days left in the competition, Chris's team is prepping a $13,000 case when they hit an unexpected roadblock. Hey, Frank, where's your keys? Oh, you're f***ed up. <laughs> this is classic. This is Frank in his prime. I locked my keys in the trunk of the car, uh, and it's like the last thing I need right now. We got to get going on another skip. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of stupid. If I go right there and hit the release mechanism, we're good to go. There you go. You're around it. He almost got it. If you let things like this affect you, then it's going to ruin your whole day. How many guys does it take to unlock the car? God, you're so close. Don't tell me. This guy's got, got enough strength. You have to call AAA. One more obstacle in the game. It is what it is. With the competition halfway over, this obstacle could be costly. Meanwhile, at Adrian's office. Okay. Shh. Alicia's on the phone with a $20,000 target named Barack, who's charged with obstructing entry onto government land. She's trying to get him to sign new paperwork. It seems to me that everything is over. I know, but for some reason, we don't have those papers yet. What I would like to get is is the proof that you have, and I need to have it in my hands. Uh, I, I could fax it to you. Yeah. I'm going to... Okay, why don't you fax it right now? Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, bye. Now we can trace the fax number from wherever he's sending it, and we'll get an address. We'll get an address. Okay. Because fax lines mm -hmm. go with the hard line. Two hours later, Adrian's team has pinpointed the origin of their skips faxes to a mailbox store. Their plan is to have Alicia call Barack again with another fax request and arrest him when he shows up to send it. Alicia, what's going on? Did, did you call him? How am I doing a walk around really quickly? 
Make the call as soon as possible, Alicia. Yeah, but uh, it's been over an hour. Alicia, Alicia, call me right back when you um, call the guy. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I want to know what he what he did. I want to know exactly what he done. I, I want to know what that charge is. I never even heard of it. Obstructing entry? What does that mean? He was on property that he shouldn't be on. Obstructing entry. No, entry that, no that, that means he prevented people from entering through him. So he stopped somebody from entering into a government land. Government land? What does that mean? Government land? Ain't this all government land? You need to sit him down and ask him, what in the hell did he get arrested for? Huh? Oh, is that him? Alicia spots someone who looks like their target. Hi. How's it going? Um, are you able to... What's your name, sir? No. I'm not able to nothing. No? Whoa. What's your name? Sir, what's your name? What is your name? That's My name is Barack. Okay, sir, okay. you're under arrest. I need you. We got a warrant for your arrest. Okay. I need you to turn around. I need you to turn around. Put that lay on the floor. Give me this. This is my paper. Okay, sir. Sir, let it go. You are under arrest. We're going to place you under arrest right now, sir. Who are you? We're bad enforcement agents. I have good news for you. Would you? Our Mr. Barack is now uh, in the back of our vehicle. <laughs> don't slow down. All right, good luck. That's what I'm talking about. You were like, no, 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 don't walk. And you said, is him. And I said, whoa. <laughs> With only a day and a half remaining, Adrian's team moves into second. Later that evening, Art discusses a new strategy. There's less than two days left, and his team has just dropped into third place. We'll do this guy from uh, West Covina. We're all in agreement with that. So is that 40,000? Yeah, that's a 40,000. All right, Thanks. let's go. The team targets Andres, charged with felony participation in gang activity and valued at $40,000. I think if we uh, reorganize ourselves and we plan to try to get a $40,000 bond that's out there, I think we could uh, get ourselves in the first place with one case. So it's a dollars game. It's whoever's got the most dollars at the end of the week. So we're just going to hit it and uh, see if we can go catch him. Art and his team arrive at Andres's last known location. Art sends Monica to knock on the door, hoping that a female voice disarms their target. Hey. It's me, Monica. Come to the door now. Come to the door now. You better open that door now. I'm going to kick it in. You understand me? Yeah, you better open it or else I'm going to kick it in. In West Covina, Art and his team are hunting Andres, an alleged gang member worth forty thousand dollars. Come to the door now. Come to the door now. Because of the bail agreement, the team has the right to knock down the door. You better open that door now. I'm going to kick it in. You understand me? Fugitive investigator, open the door now. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for Andres. Well, it doesn't matter. Open the door. He says he lives here. People are telling me my guy's in your house. Okay, slide your ID underneath the door. Let me see. I don't want to relax. I want you to open the door. I want to talk to you. Who else is in there? Let me see his ID. Who else is in there? Anybody else? That's it. All right, cool. Come on out. We're good. There you go. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing? Let me show you a photo of somebody. Relax. That's what I'm looking for. This say he stays here. They search the apartment and confirm that their target is not inside. Nah, bro. Well, that was a lot of excitement for nothing. <laughs> I thought I thought he was in there. Yeah, I did too. Just hitting the wrong place, at the wrong time. Yeah. It might be the right place, but it's the wrong time. Yeah. You want to keep on this guy tomorrow? No, this is a dead end. Let's drop it. All right, we gotta catch somebody, right? We gotta do something. With 
a little over a day left in the competition, Adrian and his team are en route to San Pedro. If we were to win this competition, you know, just this week alone, it'd be such a great help. This extra money would definitely come in handy for me and my family, and I know for Anthony and his. It's not all about us, it's about our family. So, you know, take trips to South Central LA and uh, make it happen. Not it's definitely not for our health. You know, it's for our children. Adrian's team heads to the house of their next target, Antonio. He's charged with burglary, and his bounty is a hefty $45,000. This is a bad neighborhood. Look at that. See that on the corner? Someone I mean, got shot there. Ugh, gosh, I just got the chills. Whose house? Whose house? We're on the desk. Take this building off, yes. so I can see you. Can you keep your hands up? Put your hand. Turn around, man. Man, want to tell anything to your mom and dad? Yeah. He's okay. He's gonna be all right. He just he just missed court, but he'll be all right. Yeah. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. okay. I'm sorry, man. We're gonna have to win. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? With Antonio in custody, Adrian's team adds $45,000 to their total. Just 24 hours remain in the competition. Jeff Stanley calls each team to give them a final update. Jeff, how's it going? This is your final update. You're not going to be getting any more updates after this point. Your team currently is in first place. Oh, thank goodness. Your team currently is in second place. Okay. Currently, you guys are in third place. Uh, you guys are all in the running. There's still 24 hours left, and there's $10,000 in the finish line. Okay. We run into a giant wall of gentlemen. We have a very good possibility of not winning this. He said everybody's still in the running. So one of these could put us ahead. Can you pray for our team, Mama? Of course I pray for your team. Because we're in last place right now, and I, I want to be in first place. Art's team must make a high dollar arrest to stay in the game, and they have only one day left. Yeah, I'm sad and I'm frustrated. I don't, I don't like to lose, and right now being in last place is no place for me. Chris, Art, and Adrian's teams have only 13 hours left to compete for $10,000. The bonus rests on who's banked the highest bounty total when time runs out. We got a rock and roll today. We got less than 24 hours left. Chris's team, in second place, decides to target multiple low-value, potentially easier cases. First is George, valued at $15,000. There's a chickens out here, dude. Tells me my Latino community is here. Just stand up real slow. The difference between hunting, you know, deer or whatever is we're hunting humans. You just got to stay motivated and just keep pushing and don't get relaxed because the fight is not over yet. Let's go. Go where? Look for this guy. Attitude? Don't give me any attitude. Let's go. Art and his team are in last place. Their only chance of winning is by capturing a skip with high dollar bounty. If we catch this guy, yeah, we'll be in first place. Edward is worth $80,000, but he's homeless. This guy we're chasing right now has got like a 40-year record here in El Monte. More than likely, he's going to be around. You know him? Yeah, I know him. And you know where he's at? Well, gone to a couple houses. Everyone's saying that they're looking for him. They can't find him. I guess that's what it's come down to right now. Some <laughs> got me running all over town. Chasing ghosts again. Chris's team, with just three hours left, tries another low-value, easy skip, Stephanie. We're down to the wire, and we thought, what the hell? 
We'll give it one more shot. And just to bring one in, just to bring a body in. Hey, I think that might be her. Right there, right there. Okay, I got a flip of you. Oh, you know why we're here? Yeah. Yeah, we know why we're here, huh? That's I better. really can't believe this is happening. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, I got one more in custody out here in uh, Maywood, California. We're number one just on the mere fact that we got the action going on. We got our team that's rocking and rolling, and we're picking them up. Good job, dude. Yeah. It was, it was perfect. You ready? You ready to go and do this? We have two hours left to get this guy. With less than two hours left, Adrian's team rolls the dice on their largest bounty, Azel, worth $95,000 and charged with carrying a concealed weapon. Open the door. We don't live here no more. We're going to need to come in and look at the place. It's a bunch of nasty stuff. Clear. Did you check behind the, the yes. cat shower They search the house, but Azel is nowhere to be found. All right, thank you. Ooh. Now the pressure's on because we only got 20 minutes left and it's almost over. I don't want to end out like this. It's eating me, for real. It's eating me. Meanwhile, 21 miles east in El Monte, Art's team has spent the day searching for Edward. With multiple drug charges, he's valued at $80,000. Catching him is their only chance to win. They have just 18 minutes left, and the team faces an obstacle. Edward is homeless. Uh, this guy uh, helped me out, told me kind of where the uh, transients live at. He goes, I know that guy all the time. He's I come here all the time after work, and this guy's always around here. Oh, man, we're close. I can feel it, man. I can feel it. We're close to this We've been searching for this guy, Edward, for like 12 hours. It's great that we've got a location, but there's not much time left. This will be our last hurrah. Uh, come on down this way. I think we only have 10 minutes, so we got to hurry. I'll try and get there. With the clock ticking down rapidly, Art and his team race to the underpass where they think Edward might be. Come on out if you could. Let me see that light. Let me see that light. Hello, everybody home? This is like that guy's shirt. Okay, I can't see. I'm walking down. Are you underneath the freeway? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's the affirmative. Is this shirt? Let me see the picture. It looks pretty close, doesn't it? Yes. Let me see the collar. Let's look at the collar. That's him. That's it. Look. See? It's exactly it. I think we found our guy. Now, but where the... Where is he? I was all the way out over there. Check it out. Look at that shirt, J.D. He's got a meth pipe. Oh, he's got... Bunch of syringes, too. This is a nasty. Somebody's here. Somebody's coming. Lights Somebody's coming. Lights Somebody's coming. Lights, 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 lights out. Lights out. Under a seedy highway bridge in El Monte, Art and his team are in pursuit of a skip worth $80,000. It's their last and only chance of winning. I was all the way out over there. Check it out. They just located Edward's tent, but they have only three minutes left before time runs out. He's got a meth pipe. Oh, he's got a bunch of syringes, too. This is a nasty Somebody's here. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Lights out. Lights out. Lights out. Somebody's here. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Lights out. Lights out. Lights out. Exactly where he's at. We know exactly where he's at. That's his house. There's no doubt about yeah, it. Yeah, buddy. It's Jeff. Hey, how you doing? Well, uh, well, what, what could we be doing better? Well, listen, the time's up, and so I need to get the team meet me at the office. Five more minutes, and I think we got him. We just found his house, Jeff. We found his shirt, his tent, the hey, syringes. Can you give us five minutes. Can you do that? I need you guys to get the office. I have goosebumps. 
We're so close. <laughs> Game's over? Game's over. Time's up, man. We did the best we could. We were hoping that we had them in our hands, but uh, unfortunately, uh, no go. So, time to go back to the office and, and talk to Jeff and everyone else and wrap it up, because uh, that's it for this week. After five days of hunting skips, the teams gather at Bad Boys Bail Bonds, where they will learn who earned the $10,000 bonus. We just arrived at uh, the war room. I'm um, feeling kind of nervous. My team's nervous. You fit through there, are right, <laughs> I've been on a weight loss program. <laughs> there he is. Hey. Hey, hey team. Uh, hey. What's the word? You guys picked up a lot of skips and saved me a lot of money. Art, JD, Monica, you guys started off the week with a $5,000 rest. I know you've been working on an $80,000 case. What happened? Couldn't get it done in time. Because every minute counts. That's huh? right. We were on it. We lost this week, but we're not going to lose next week. Well, I want to tell you, Adrian, your team, Chris, your team, you guys were neck and neck all week long. The difference between the two teams is $1,500. <laughs> wow. The $10,000 bonus goes to Adrian's team. I cannot believe that we won by $1,500. That is so minuscule. These bounties are huge numbers. $1,500? I'm in shock. Honestly, I didn't think I won. I really felt I let my, I let my team down. I really did. Yeah. We started off in last place. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. Uh, basically, we just got together and just said that we got to step it up. Next time we come back, there'll be hell to pay. Nobody else brought the amount of bodies into jail that we did today, and that's what we do for a living. We take bodies to jail. I got you too, and you. I'll accept the challenge for next week. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come greased up. <laughs> when I go home to the kids, I'm gonna look at them, and I'm like, you know, guys. <laughs> I sacrificed a lot this last week to make things happen for you. So you all ready for next week? Yeah. Oh, yeah.